Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of Minecraft Mods of the Week. This is a new series where hopefully each Thursday, I'm going to show you some of the best mods that were released over the past week or so. I'll always do these videos for the latest version of Minecraft, so this video is for version 1.16.3. All the download links you need can be found in the description below. Random Plant Heights is a small but simple mod that randomizes the height of both sugar canes and cactuses in your Minecraft world. Now they'll stop growing from anywhere between 2 to 4 blocks high, which should add a bit more variation and randomness to your world. Froglins are new hostile creatures, which you'll find in swamp biomes. During the day, froglins will rest underwater, even building small lairs to rest in, but when the night comes, they'll be on the surface attacking anything that comes close, including the player. Also included with this mod is new items such as froglin eyes and eggs, which can be used to craft new potions and arrows. These provide effects such as increased swimming speed, jumping height, and more. Best Friend will make some simple changes to wolves in Minecraft. Normally, wolves won't attack an enemy unless the players attack first. But with this mod, wolves will have their AI changed so they now attack anyone who intends to hurt you before they've even come close. Spooky Arms is a new mod which is released as part of the Spooky Jam event. With it comes some new pumpkin-themed ranged weapons. When it comes to handheld weapons, these are three different guns, as well as a bazooka which can fire normal or explosive pumpkins, with the latter dealing more damage. Explosive pumpkins are new blocks, which are similar to TNT. There's a bit of progression in this mod too, as you'll need to upgrade guns from Tier 1 all the way up to Tier 3 by finding upgrade pouches in dungeons. Creatures and Beasts is a work in progress, and will eventually add plenty of new animals to your Minecraft world. With it being a work in progress, it currently only adds two creatures. These are the Grebes, which are a small bird, and Lizards, which can come in a variety of colors. The developer has a lot planned for this mod. Skin Lanterns is an awesome mod, adding a lot of new variations for lanterns. Now you can combine different materials with the standard lantern in your crafting table to get some very cool designs. Some examples include colorful paper lanterns as well as lanterns themed around animals such as bees, zombies, and creepers. Tree Mendes will add 25 new trees into your Minecraft world, which feature custom foliage and biomes. Trees range massively, with some types including maple, cedar, walnut, and chestnut trees. But I think that the best feature of this mod is all the new types of wooden blocks you can craft and use in your base, which mostly consist of doors, signs, planks, and more. Reusable Rockets is incredibly useful, and as you'd expect, allows you to use the same rocket multiple times. There are three tiers available, with each one increasing the number of times you can use the rocket. Once a rocket has run out of uses, it can be replenished with gunpowder. Although another great feature is that you can increase the flight duration too, allowing you to fly further distances from a single use. Shulker enchantments make some quality of life changes to shulker boxes in Minecraft. It adds two new enchantments, which are siphon and refill. With the siphon enchantment, anytime you pick up an item off the ground, it will automatically be added to your shulker box as long as it already contains at least one of those items. Whereas with refill, if you place down a block that also exists in your shulker box, then the stack in your hand will be constantly replenished. If you're like me and don't enjoy collecting granite, diorite, or andesite, then this small mod should help you out. Just Stone will automatically make these blocks drop cobblestone instead. But if you do want to collect these blocks, you can still do so by using the Silk Touch enchantment. Classic Art will add some new paintings to Minecraft from famous artists such as Leonardo da Vinci and Van Gogh. Currently, there are 10 new paintings, which include the likes of The Mona Lisa, Starry Night, American Gothic, and Liberty Leading the People. 
Disguise Witches is another mod taking part in Spooky Jam this year. With it, black cats might appear in your world randomly, or after killing a witch. These aren't normal cats, as they're likely witches in disguise. After sleeping for the night, these cats might give you some gifts, which could include useful materials, or transform back into witches who will attack you. Outvoted intends to add new animals and enemies into Minecraft, and is currently a work in progress mod. As of the time of this video, it adds a single enemy called the Hovering Inferno, which is like a blaze but surrounded in shields. It has AoE attacks and can make itself invulnerable for a few seconds, making it similar to a mini boss fight. The developer has a few more planned creatures, such as the Monster of the Ocean Depths and the Great Hunger. Effect Pads adds a few new blocks into Minecraft, which give some special effects. There are pads which can both massively increase or decrease movement speed, as well as pads which will improve your jump height, allowing you to reach new areas. Though, there are also pads which can be used for traps, such as cactus and magma pads. That's it for this list. If you enjoyed this style of video, let me know and subscribe for more.